Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. Disaster resources to help taxpayers weather summer storms. Yeah, you know what could help in the event of a devastating summer storm? Money. So maybe you should let us keep more of ours. I've had to delay installing those hurricane shutters for the last five years due to taxes. Disaster resources from the IRS. Give me a bloody break. IRS Tax Tip 2022-75, May 16, 2022. The arrival of summer also means the start of hurricane season. One way taxpayers can prepare for any type of natural disaster is by knowing what to do about important documents and paperwork that might be lost after a disaster. So obviously if there's a disaster, if there's a hurricane, that could be terrible for paperwork. Paper just blows up and the hurricane gets all wet and even if you can recover it, then it's probably the ink's going to be running on it and stuff. So what do you do about that uh, that situation? So it's also good for taxpayers to know how to find out if the IRS is providing filing extensions or other tax relief due to the impact of a federally declared disaster. So after a, after a hurricane has completely wiped out your home, the first thing that comes to mind is probably that next deadline, tax deadline that's coming up. And so, uh, you know, it's good to be able to understand whether or not you have an extension on that component as well, which you could find at the IRS website, irs.gov, V for victory over tax questions like this. So below are links taxpayers can use to find IRS tax related disaster relief. We got the reconstructing records after a natural disaster or casualty loss. So obviously you got that paperwork blowing all over the place and it's all wet and got the inks smearing all over. So what's the best strategy for compiling that data back together. So you, should you put the wet documents back on the desk or maybe you have some other kind of system where you've got that information that you could get it back. So these, the, this is at irs.gov, 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 V for victory over this kind of tax question stuff. Page help people find are facing the challenge of reconstructing their financial records after a disaster. This may be essential for property documenting a <clears throat> tax deductible loss, supporting various tax related transactions, or getting federal assistance or insurance reimbursements. So tax relief in disaster situations, there's a link to that here. This page features links to resources that walk taxpayers through information that may help them after a disaster. This page <clears throat> also links to local news releases and frequently asked questions questions around the nation there's another page they got here this page highlights news specific to local areas this includes disaster relief and tax provisions that affect certain states so you got more localized state by state action here and then you got the faqs frequently asked questions otherwise known everybody knows that you don't need to say that it's the faqs for disaster victims there's a link to that here from this page users can link uh, out to several different pages with FAQs, frequently asked questions, each about a specific topic to help people after a disaster. Then you got publication 3067, IRS Disaster Assistance, Federally Declared Disaster. This publication provides information to individuals and businesses affected by a federally declared disaster. It also covers the assistance available to disaster victims. You also got publication 584, Casualty Disaster and Theft Loss Workbook. Uh, this workbook helps un individual taxpayers figure uh, their loss on personal use property in the event of a disaster, casualty, or theft. And then you got Publication 584B, Business Casualty Disaster and Theft Loss Workbook. There's a link to that here. This workbook helps businesses figure their loss on businesses and income producing property in the event of a disaster, casualty, or theft. Then you got publication 547, of course, Casualty, Disasters, and Theft. This publication explains the tax treatment of casualties, thefts, and losses on uh, deposits. Then you got more information down below, disasterassistance.gov and ready.gov. And there's links to all that wonderful resources to help you out in the event of a devastating storm during this hurricane season. So some good stuff here worth looking at. I, I personally would still rather have my money if you could let me keep my money i could buy those hurricane shutters but whatever as long as as long as it is what it is might as well use these resources so we got links to all that stuff here and there'll be a link to this in the description